Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh. All right. Hi, it's Thomas. Uh, we're in Bishkek. Uh, I'm on a Kokpuru horse. Um, that's basically polo, but you play it with a dead goat. Um, it is one of Kyrgyzstan's many fine traditions. Uh, one of the other traditions, a little less fine, is um, kidnapping women and making them your bride. We're going to go uh, out of Bishkek up into the hills and see that happen. Kyrgyzstan is a tiny landlocked country next to China that spent most of the last century as part of the Soviet Union. Prior to that, it was a wild, tribally ruled Conan land known for its people's horsemanship, the mythic hero Manas, and for being the birthplace of the Black Plague. The Kyrgyz people celebrated the end of communism by adopting Islam as the state religion and getting really into their old national identity, some parts of which jived nicely with the modern times, <laughs> others of which didn't. <laughs> Bride kidnapping is a traditional way of getting married that supposedly dates back to the horse days. How it works is, guy wants to marry a girl, he gets a few of his friends together, they grab the girl off the street, then they drive her back to his place, and his mom and aunts try to convince her that marrying their son is the right move, even if he's a total stranger. We'd heard a young East Kyrgyz villager named Kubanti was in the market for a bride, so we offered up our services as wedding photographers. So far this is very similar to like a western wedding, you just have all the family together, favorite uncle kind of holding court at the table, a lot of food, but it's hard to reconcile this hospitality with the uh, kind of potential violence that's about to happen here. <laughs> Bride kidnapping is not a fringe custom. In rural areas, nearly half of all marriages result. And while it's technically illegal to kidnap your wife, not many Kyrgyz cops realize this, and even fewer care. <laughs> There are two laws that make kidnapping illegal. Even in cases where the couple love each other. I know a number of cases where the woman said, I was kidnapped, I love the man, I wanted to marry him, but I did not want to be kidnapped because it's very humiliating to be physically captured and forced into a car. The majority of the police and officials in the country don't even know it's illegal. Or if they do, they believe it's an old tradition. Back at Kubanti's place, the groomsmen pop a final squat to coordinate the snatch. We're planning the kidnapping right now. How long have you guys been planning this? Who's the girl? Is it somebody you've been friends with, somebody you know, or is it somebody like your family knows? While bride kidnapping is largely a rural phenomenon, there's been a spike in cities in recent years, generally attributed to the success of Ernest Appy Yabarov's 2007 pro-kidnapping film, Baz Salkin. 
радиодан ошол ЗАГС-тын немесе интервью берип атты, көрсө 5-түрөлгөн кыздын атын Асема коюп отурушту да. Ушунчалык популярдуу болду да. А бул Касымдын үйү ушул бу? Алба. Колдугубуз бар. Колдугубуз бар. Оштун мэри митип айткан. Ой, сен элдер кыргыздар кыз ала качат турбой э деп ойлоп калат да, муну эмне чыгардың деп тагы айткан да. Чындыкта жим салдоонун аракети болсо керек деген. Яны бул жерде жанагы биздин апа. Бүгүнкү күндө ошого каршы мен оюнча ошо ала качуулуу ыкмасы, ошо бирден бир ошо туруштук берүү, ошо бир протест катары өзүнүн өзү мында өнүгүп атышынын бирден бир себеби ошол болуп атат да. Биздин ала качуу жолун мындай сындаганы менен өздөрү бизге ошондой бир институтту мындай тартуулап бере алган жок да. Эркин сүйү ошо эле мисалы ленири калку оорулар, спит, ажырашуулар, атанес калган балдар, сойкулук, бангизаттык кошонун баары бизге батыштан келип атат да, бизде мындай жок болчу фил керек. Жаш кичинекей кызларыбыздын өз өмүрүнө өзү кыйып аткандыгы жөнүндө өтүп жатат. Ошондуктан сиздерден өтүнүшүм урматтуу мына бу жерде турган аталар, апалар болсо Spousal abuse is higher in kidnapped marriages. Divorce rate is higher in kidnapped marriages. There's a higher percentage of women who go through that process who wind up rejected by families and going into prostitution. And suicide rates are higher among women who are kidnapped. <laughs> Ну болгыз. Биз этилеге келечек, аябай жакшы болчу-то. Дагы эмне кылып кеттик, ошо ошо ана ошо мебетип кетти го. Апа болуп. Астында көп пландаштылган эмнелер бар, баары бар эле. Пландардын бар аткарып байкалып атыр. Түр үчүн дала качып кеттир, биз жокту. Ай ошо күнү эрте а күнү түрү менен издеп таппайбыз. Эртеси барып Ертеси түшө ондан кийин саат 3:00 де таап келдик. Таап алып келсек, о айылдын ичинен бир аталаш эжелебиз, бир айыл эмес, кербе кыргызчылык эмес, бир белгиле деп кыргыздын ба илгерки салтына салып бердирген. Кайра бир эл сиңер, бир жер сиңер кыргызчылык эмес, бир белгиле деп кыргызчылык менен кайра бергенбиз. 9 март күнү саат 4:00 де мейтиптир. Сүйүн деген сүйлөшкөн мурасы болчу. Давлет та сүйлөшкөн мурасы болчу. Чаңып чаңып отургум көгүп жетим көтүш келет. Баланы түшүнүгө начар, мындайынан билимсиз деп билим албай калыптыр эне. Чинекке курукта жүрүп калыптыр, мында эмеси жок. Балам капа оон жемети алды. Ошо жо группалаштан ошо жо мен үчүн баарынан эмне кылды да баламды шагылсындырды да. Ошо кызасын ачыдаган жок, элдин көбүнчө басынтып койду. With the plan locked in place and the bridal yurt set up for the reception, all that was left for Kubantin as pals was to go secure the bride. Бир кызыктайым. Сүрүп атам да, толкундан. Kubanti's uncle gave the boys one final good luck blessing, and they all piled into the getaway van. We're gonna go to the, I guess the local watering hole, like literally watering hole. That's where um, they've arranged with a friend of the bride to be to um, capture her. It's a little animal kingdom picking off uh, your bride at the watering spot. <laughs> Bir de bu arkalarda oturuyor. Kalk bakalım.
feel okay about this right now just because this guy evidently knows her and I think in this case it's just kind of a weirder form of popping the question it feels like. At the same time it's an extremely troubling institution. <laughs> So this is um, the girl's friend who's going to help them uh, kind of lure out the bride. They're negotiating with her right now. They're just planning how to do it. Нүргүлгө барасың азырч. Аркы колонканы көзде басасың өрөкөмч. Колонка аз калганда биз бар токтоп, мо машинага салабыз өкөмөрдүч. Нүргүл да калган. Нүргүл немесин. Назгүл, давай, эн жөнө. Аз чыктып биз аркан ардан барасың. Давай, үчөң баса бер билей. Эй, өк журкулашып барганда эле биз бар токтойбуз, э? Эй, жакшылап. Just gonna grab her. There's not like a blanket or anything. No. Okay. Pretty basic. From here on, it's up to the women of the family to get the girl to put on the bridal scarf and agree to the wedding. A process that can go on for hours, or even days. Oh, 
<laughs> this is a very confusing scene. I think the girls accepted what happened, and I don't know if she was just putting up resistance because that's what you're supposed to do, or if she was genuinely freaked out. She's eating cookies now, though, and accepted a candy, which I did too, which I don't know how I feel about that. Бул <gülüyor> Well, everybody's all smiles. I hope she likes her uh, groom. Is this what a what a wedding's normally like around here? Tavalusun <laughs> Well, why do they do that? If um, if the families already know each other and are fine with it, why why the kidnapping? Where does that come from? In Kyrgyzstan, tradition stands even above religion, I think, in terms of importance and religion above law. The oral tradition of Kyrgyzstan is the Manas Epos. Manas is the authority. It's akin to being in the Midwest and quoting the Bible. If there's a Kyrgyz tradition, it should be in Manas. Manas is Kyrgyz, Kyrgyz is Manas. And there's no stories of kidnapping in the oral tradition. It's a violation of Islam. It's a violation of law, and it's pretty clear that prior to the Soviet period it was very uncommon and was not an acceptable traditional practice, even though it happened sometimes. Uh-oh. God. Today just gets rougher and rougher. So everything work out? It looked like she was fighting pretty hard in the van. I'm surprised you weren't like more beat up. Did she know who she was marrying once she got in the car? Did she know it was you? Or did... It could have been any of those guys, right? It was clear. I mean, you're, you're clearly also you're wearing the nicest clothes here, and you knew her, and you'd been dating her, so it makes sense. Um, what what happens next? Do you have to go get her family? So the bride's been napped, the uh, sheep's been slaughtered. So we're really getting into the thick of the wedding right now. Kind of occurs to me that um, compared to like you know American groomsmen, Kyrgyz groomsmen have a pretty rough job. All anybody ever complains about having to stage a bachelor party or you know buy gifts or wear a suit. They don't have to kidnap a girl or cut open a sheep. And God knows what else is going to happen. So you're the grill master here. Right? What is um, what's that furry part? Is that lungs? Chicken. Stomach. Okay. Could you have gotten in trouble for this? I mean, if like a policeman or something had seen you, like, could they have like stopped you? Problem at the what police problem? They use in times <laughs> there. Oh, I met the chick one. Sorry, police. Who did that? Police, maybe. Then, 
Мунда Юлиони тоже тех пях полгода, чудро отцали. And they'd be fine with it. Okay. What's the best part of the sheep? <laughs> All those floppy ears. There you go. Once the girl has finally said yes, the men from the groom's family go over to the bride's house and tell their parents, sorry, we kidnapped your daughter. Is that okay? Unsurprisingly, this process can also take a while. The men bring tons of gifts and food to smooth things over, so that hopefully the bride's family will think of it less as losing a daughter and more as gaining a sheep. This is the bride's family, or bride-to-be, so evidently they aren't allowed in yet to see the family. So what's happening right now? Why do you, why do you we have to wait? I get there. Look, she just pay. She just pay all the while, sir. She in the pickup bill, sir. In the in the the material bill. Or that she was getting. Oh, kidding is that? Okay. That was short. Yeah. starting to get a little suspicious that Brad's family may have known about this ahead of time. This is a pretty nice spread to put out on like an hour's notice. How, how are you feeling about um about all this? I way much the custom, the taking her up off the street. Is that how people got married when you were little? Everyone kept telling us how old and hallowed the practice of bride kidnapping was. But if it's not even in Manas, the country's national epic, how old actually is it? If we go back to the 19th century, when you had tribal groups, they would go through villages and they would steal horses and cattle and women. So there is a tradition of stealing, but it would produce a real conflict between tribes and was not an acceptable traditional practice. All the evidence shows that kidnapping was on an increase from the latter period of the Soviet period, and then it continued to increase at the end of the Soviet period. The Soviets said, first of all, we're gonna stop marriages of young girls before the age of 15 or so. We're gonna now send both boys and girls to high school and college. We collectivize the wealth, so there's no money for bride price and the dowry. So now the young people are getting older before they get married. They go off to the university and they may come back and say, I found someone I'd like to marry. And the parents say, no, we're arranging a marriage for you in the village. So she might go back to the university or he talk to the boyfriend or girlfriend and says, is there any legitimate way we can get married against our parents' wishes? He said, well, I will kidnap you, take you to my home, keep you overnight. Then they will consider you an unclean girl and so they will have to let you marry me. And I think, strangely enough, kidnapping it is a response to the Soviets bringing about more equality for men and women. Yeah. 
Anam bazı üzere sık bazı sebebi üzere aç bacağı var. Birincisi ne alıp yedi lan? Oo, şu an şu an ne yapıyor? Anlamadım ne yapıyor? Jo jo jo. Ben hızlı olgunda diş kenemesim. Hızlı olgunda diş kenemesim. Ben ömür hiç ipar kenemesim bunu bunu. Yok yok, ben de gözüm yok şu an şu sen beni sevsen de ben adak çıkıyorum. Ezir ezir adak çıkıyorum. Devam, götür. Anam. O baktılı olsun, halkına. Baktılı olsun. Baktılı talalı olsun. Annen gibi değil ne var mı? Ne var, bırak bak. Bırak bak. Bırak bak. While we were busy doing vodka shots with mayonnaise chasers, the local imam stopped by the wedding yurt to make the marriage official. Did you know you were about to get married? How do you feel right now? İki çocuğun adamdı, bir bütün ügül okula turgan, bir bütün dini okula turgan Allah Ta'lan hükümü. Şeriatın hükümünde nike de vatılatken bardığınızlar Nikenin ulu şartının biri gelin bala özünün kalbası menen gönülü menen şu uylunu atkan cikit ki tüylükü cıl dostuka makulduğum birdi bi gönülümüz menen şu uylunu atkan cikit ki tüylükü cıl dostuka makulduğumuzda birdiniz bi. Birdim. Did you want to marry him? Prokazır mesleğim. You you accepted the scarf very quickly. Like why didn't you fight more? Emuş abkeli neden ki? Уже чарбать там, уже Ильгерте Денлешу, Гелечата Тойлем, Гелечата Тойлем, Сал Бошкарек Тойлем. Ушел Джалгандан Ахрит Крямат Сенгачейн, Хуаншпек Джолдаштока, Хаул Туттунгу. Хаул Туттунгу. Умрубек Кзе Нургул, Чекшембек Паласа Хуаншпеке, Нургул Денена Сенгди Башта Денгу. Башта Денгу. You're still in school, right? Are you going to finish school? Oh, it's got kind of a, a western flair to it. Wow, that's very shiny. The wedding itself was yesterday, but um, the celebration is today. I feel we can class ourselves up a little bit. Yeah, suits here are very shiny though. I think this might be the winner. Minimally shiny. Still shiny enough to go to a wedding in. I think I found my suit. We were really getting into the spirit of the festivities, which was okay. kind of unsettling considering we had just seen a girl get abducted oh, off the street. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's definitely it. Первый раз видит этого, может быть, в год один, два случая, которые, когда украли их, заставили выйти замуж, это редко. Женщина 95 процентов остаются, потому что это причина в том, что девушки воспитаны вот ну послушанию. Ну я еще раз говорю, последствия мы ощущаем вот домашнее насилие, разводы, брошенные дети. Ну есть случаи, конечно, женщина принята в семью, бывают такие случаи, или женщина всю жизнь терпит. Саламатс. Ну как? Ну как? Нормально. How are you doing? Hey, Саламатс. We got uh, some cooking ware for the uh, the bride to be, and then uh, for Uncle Sultan, we got uh, some smokes. Yeah. <laughs> welcome. Very welcome. Everybody's in t-shirts and jeans. I just bought this suit. Okay. Hey, Salmas. Uh, this is for you and your wife. Yeah, of course. Working on the intestines there. Salamats. Last night we stayed up late with uh, the bride's family. We drank a lot. We ate a 
probably all of a sheep. And um, now we're back to drinking and eating fried bread. Oh, and salad. Ragman. Uncle Sultan brought us into the yurt, and we kind of suspected this was why. More vodka. So right over my left shoulder is the uh, sheet from their wedding night, basically. She's a virgin, she's gonna bleed on the sheet and then they take it out and that's proof to everybody and they hang it. It's kind of weird, everybody puts a sort of a, a premium on virginity. Never really got that shit, but there it is. Brad was a virgin, double good happiness for uh, Brad and the groom. Traditionally, the day after a Kyrgyz wedding, the bride has to prove herself to her new family, especially the women. So it's kind of like a hazing, sort of, almost, of women. Still kind of not sure how to feel about this whole thing. I kind of get the impression it might be a case of one family not having lost a daughter so much as another gaining a scullery maid. But seems happy. She says she's happy. <laughs> We're not going to pretend to be experts on Manas or the finer points of Islam, but for all the justifications we heard, it seems like the real reason men kidnap women in Kyrgyzstan is the same reason they do questionable stuff anywhere. The same reason a dog licks its balls. Because they can. Which, of course, is the oldest and shittiest reason in the world. Congratulations. That's so great. Thank you. Thanks. Ragmar. Appreciate it. Ragmar, thank you. Yesterday I arrived in Amsterdam, doubtlessly one of the sickest places on earth to get blazed on dank nugs. But my interest is not solely confined to blazing dank nugs. Amsterdam is fertile ground for all manner of psychoactive substance. I came here to find the Psilocybe Tampanensis Sclerotium, or Philosopher's Stone Truffle. <laughs> <laughs> 